بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Living the Quran through the Living Quran, an audio visual translation of Tafsir al Nur of Sheikh Mohsen Karaati, translated by Salim Bimji and edited by Arif Huda. Audio version read out by the translator. In this 22 part series, we will be reviewing Chapter 58 of the Noble Quran, Surah Al Mujadila, The Pleading Woman. The Ultimate Witness have you not considered that Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth? There is not a secret counsel between three persons, but He, Allah, is the fourth of them, nor between five, but He, Allah, is the sixth of them, nor less than that, nor more, but He, Allah, is with them wherever they may be. Thereafter, He, Allah, will make them truly understand all that they do and call them to account on the day of resurrection. Surely Allah has full knowledge of everything. Thinking Points The word Tara comes from the word Ru'yat, and it means seeing, and sometimes it comes in the meaning of understanding something as well. And this is what it means in this verse, that is, understanding. The word Najwa comes from the word Najwa. And it refers to an elevated place which is separate and distinguishable from all other pieces of land. Because of the fact that when one whispers something to another person, in reality they're trying to separate that individual from all others in that gathering. Or they are speaking in such hushed tones, such that others do not become aware of what is being said. Or because of the fact that because of what they are saying should distance the person from all others around them, except for the person that they are speaking to, it is for these reasons that this word used for such conversations is najwa. In addition, the word najwa can be applicable in both secret gatherings in which the offenders are far away from the eyes of other people and in which they speak in such quiet tones such that they do not raise the attention of other people and so others do not hear what they are saying. Now, the Qur'an speaks about the knowledge of Allah in regards to the secrets and the confidential discussions which people engage in. And this is, actually occurs in the Qur'an in multiple instances. For example, in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 78, Allah says, Do they not know that Allah knows what they keep concealed and their private counsels and gossips? and that Allah has full knowledge of the whole of the unseen, all that lies beyond the reach of any created being's perception. In addition, in the Quran, in Surah Al-Zukhruf, chapter 43, verse number 80, Allah says, Or do they think that we do not hear their secrets, that they whisper only to themselves and their private counsels? Indeed we do, and our messengers, the angels, are by them, recording. Now in the verse under review, and in addition the previous verse, the knowledge of Allah has been addressed a total of ten times. And as we see the beginning of the verse under review, and the end of the verse under review, they speak about the knowledge of Allah by saying the following, Ya'lamu, that He, Allah, knows, and also Alim, that He, Allah, has full knowledge. Now, keeping in mind the content of the previous verses, we are also drawn to specifics of the knowledge of Allah in the following ways. Number one is that Allah's knowledge encompasses all of the details. Number two is that His knowledge is very precise. Number three is that His knowledge is known as presentational knowledge. Number four is that His knowledge does not fall victim to forgetfulness. Point number five is that through his knowledge, through the knowledge of Allah, that is, those people who had previously forgotten the things which they had done are once again reminded of their actions. Point number six is that the expanse of the knowledge of Allah covers all of existence and it is perpetual and everlasting. Point seven is that he has knowledge, however normally he does not disgrace people in the life of this world. Point eight is that his knowledge is permanent and it is not intermittent. And point number nine is that his knowledge of the celestial realms and the earth are one and the same.
takeaway messages. 1. A look which does not lead to knowledge of and understanding the truth is something which is disgraceful. 2. The heavens and the earth, big and small, obvious and hidden, are all equal before the knowledge of Allah. 3. The multiplicity of people and the variety of their words have no effect on Allah's knowledge, and as such, Allah is aware of all of them and their words. 4. Because Allah's existence is infinite, He is with us wherever we are. 5. Space and time have no effect on Allah's knowledge, and He is aware of everything. 6. On the day of resurrection, the one who conveyed the message will also be a witness. We will continue in our next discussion. We'll review verse number 8.